All right. So here is another video soldering one of the boards. Today we're going to be soldering the J22 board. This is the board that connects to what I call the J22 header or connector on the chassis or on the chassis. Again, uh, there's an orientation. This is what's called the front here. Okay. And obviously this is the back. All right. So let's look over here at the GitHub repo. And of course, you know already the designs are here for this and the explanation of how these boards uh, were made. Okay, and the first thing I want to do <clears throat> is just because we need to solder some stuff on here for configuration is go over to the PDFs folder. Okay, and so what we have here are actually PDF versions of the schematic that I need to reference. Um, so this way, and I put those here so we did not have to open uh, KiCad for this. And so let's download this one here. Okay. Let's open it up. And I'll zoom in so we can read what we need to do. And um, I'll just leave this here for now. Okay. I'm sure I'm recording. Yep. Okay, so then let's go back. Okay, we're going to click on here this link to the wiki. And again, you know, if you want to read about, you know, how this was done, and uh, I'll have, you know, better instructions on how to assemble these, go here. And right now, we're going to use these, the interactive bombs, or the interactive bill of materials. We're going to open up the one for the J22 board. Okay. As you can see, I've already gone and sourced the components. And I'll show those to you right now. They're all in this uh, lid here, or hard drive lid, old hard drive that it is assembled. There are fewer components than the J20 board. And if we go over here, and it'll tell us there are eight components. And so, <clears throat> again, I'm not going to use uh, my helping my set of helping hands or a circuit board holder uh, because I uh, just want to show that this can be done, you know, on your desktop, on your workbench, or whatever. Uh, so you don't need all, you know, sorts of fancy stuff. If you have them, if you have a helping hands, you know, go ahead and use them. It'll be easier. All right. So first, let's place... C1. This capacitor is a one microfarad capacitor. Okay. And so I have my pair of snips here. I'm going to cut it out. Okay. And I will have to straighten these legs out a little. As you can see here, to make it fit. Once again, like the other video, the lighting is very poor, and I have sausage fingers, so this is difficult. Okay, I'm going to align, you know, this side of the capacitor with the dark part here, and that's the negative side. So I'll place those right in there, and it goes right in. Let's separate the legs a little bit there. Okay. Hopefully I won't have any issues with my soldering iron on this one video. And it seems to be working great. I did change the tip on here to transfer more heat. This is the correct tip. Should have used this one in the last video. Alright, I'm going to snip and snip. Okay. Okay, and that was placed. Next we're going to do R1 and R2. These are 220 ohms and 220 is just 
where are they? Yeah. Red, red, brown. Okay. And so again, like the other one, we can just bend these. Like so. And sort of force it in there. I don't know if force is a forceful word. Gently place them in there. Okay. operation. Okay. And that one is staying in place. You know, again, this isn't a soldering video. There is a link on the uh, wiki there describing how to solder. Uh, I'm sorry, pointing to a video where one show, somebody shows you know how to solder, which I think is good. It's a good video, and it's short. I suggest if you don't know how to solder or you want to brush up on it, go ahead and watch that uh, video. Okay. So R1 and R2 placed. <clears throat> Let's go to R3. It's a 2.2K resistor. Snip them here just to get those ends off. Clean up a little. Okay. And 2.2K is red, red, red. It's hard to see, but there are lines on there. Red, red, red. Okay. It says the 2.2 is right under the capacitor there. Good enough. Okay. Sip them off. All right. So R3 is placed. Now let's go to the audio jack. <coughs> okay. This can only fit one way and it you know it's on the top face. Okay. Goes like this. And see this guy's gonna want to come out. You know, it's loose fitting. Okay, so we're gonna do that little trick we did in the last video where you know, we're going to just put some solder on the tip of the soldering iron just and then, you know, transfer it over here. And it's, you know, again, that's only for holding. You know, that is not a good way to solder. I don't recommend you solder that way. Uh, it's, uh, and it's only for holding it in place. It will not make a good electrical connection. So, let's get some solder there on the tip. Okay, and then... And there it is. And solder the other legs. Do not start on the one that you soldered to hold in place. Because if not, it will immediately fall out. Finish up with that one. Okay. And there it is. It is in place. And
Okay, so the microphone jack J2 has been placed. I'm sorry, the audio jack J3. Okay, <clears throat> there's a pin header that we're going to put in, 2x3. Okay, that guy goes here. And this time I did go out and uh, buy it. All right, this will fall out. So we'll do the same, we'll play the same game. <clears throat> Put some solder on the tip to hold it in place. Okay, all right, and you can see there it's, it's not going anywhere. Okay, placed. Pin header, 2 by 13. This one will leave for last, uh, just like the J20 connector. I want to solder that on the chassis <coughs> connector. Okay, the screw terminal. And that's this one right here. All right, and what we want to do is we want to place it. With these holes here facing towards this edge of the board and that's because the wires come in through here okay now you can place it this way if you want and it will work right but it will make it a little bit more difficult so don't do it you can if you want but I wouldn't all right place this guy here and again um, same deal That guy's in place, all right? And this one is a little heavy, so you might want to do two legs, because if not, half of it will pop out. So I'm going to solder two pins. Okay, and there we go. Again, that's just to hold it in place. That is not a good electrical connection. All right. Let's solder this in. Okay. This is going to take up more solder because they are bigger pads and bigger pins. I've done this a lot, so you know I'm holding the circuit board, you know, with my pinky and my ring finger. Um, I don't even notice that I'm doing it sometimes, but you can do that too. After a while, when you get used to it, you know. You develop a little bit of I don't know, circuit board dexterity. I'm not dexterous for anything else, but for this, I tend to be. Okay. Well, as you can see, I'm making a solder blob there. That is not a good solder joint there. <clears throat> Seems like my iron is uh, acting up again. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if that helped. Alright, let's just wait while this heats up a little bit. Alright. As you can see, I'm just leaving it there, and um, when it reaches the right temperature, the solder will just sort of form like a little pyramid. There you go, nice even pyramid. Okay, that's that's acceptable. Okay.
Okay, soldered. Okay, that leaves um, J1 here, which I don't want to solder yet. We'll do that in a little bit. What I do want to go over are these jumpers that are here on the back. And you'll see we have JP1, JP2, and JP3. And these jumpers are here, you know, so you can use this board in two configurations using, you know, this little circ minimal circuit needed for electric uh, microphones, or if you want to co connect directly to the microphone, you know, so you can select which configuration by soldering uh, the jumpers in the right way. And so the instructions are actually on the schematic, which we brought up earlier, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so so you can read there. It says circuit is to be able to use an electric microphone um, that doesn't have the circuit inside of its package. You know, so it's just bare microphone. It doesn't have the actual circuit inside of the microphone housing. Okay, um, to use this circuit, we need to solder jumper one, and we need to solder pads one and two of JP two jumper two. So here's jumper one. Okay, we got to just put a solder blob on that. All right, and then there's jumper number two over here, and you can see this is pad one, the middle one is pad two, and then this one is pad three. And so what it's saying here is to solder pads one and two. So we're going to put a plob across these two right here. Okay. All right, jumper one is soldered. And pads one and two of jumper two are soldered. Now over here, JP three it says is for testing the five volts in the circuit to make sure it's there. Don't use it, and we won't. Okay, so now let's go on to soldering the header. All right, we're back. Okay, and like we did with the other board, I want to uh, solder this on here to get the spacing right because the headers um, are, are just, you know, aren't the right length uh, for it to fit right. So, this is one that I have installed that works. We're going to remove it from the iMac. And again, this screw that I'm pulling out was one of the screws that held the logic board in place. So when you remove the logic board, make sure and keep your screws. Okay. I'm going to scoot this over to the side here. All right. I'm going to take the header. And you'll see that there's a, a long length here and a short length here. The long length is what plugs into the J22 connector. Okay and just place it and then slightly put it out just a little bit, just pull out just a little bit. Okay, place this over it, make sure it aligns. Oh wow, well, maybe I didn't need to do that in this case, I guess I, I guess I must have fixed it in the BOM, because this is the right length. Well, since we're here, let's do this. Put it in place, and I'll screw it in. Or not. Okay. No, no, it is. We did need to do this. Because once you screw it in place, the post is long enough that it pulls the circuit board away from you know, the, the connector. So this was a necessary step. All right, let's start soldering. And I can find my solder. Okay. Get two of these in there at least. 
least. Alright. See, I sort of melted that a little bit there. Um, like I said, poor lighting. This is very uncomfortable. You can actually pull this off after you've got a couple of them soldered. And do it on the bench. They're all slaughtered. No, let's do this one. Okay, and with that, the connector has been placed. <laughs>